in contrast <coughs> to Enzo Maresca, it was a dream start to life at Anfield Shit for Arnie Slot. And the full time whistle blows. The Arnie Slot era is off to the perfect start. Liverpool start as they mean to go on under their new Dutch head coach with a win that could be the first of many. Two familiar names on the score sheet in Jota and Salah, who in particular just loves the opening weekend of a Premier League campaign. Liverpool pick up the points. Ipswich nil, Liverpool two. So Arnie Slot becomes the first Liverpool manager this century to win his first game in charge. That's un- unimaginable, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. The last was Graham Souness back in 1991. Of course, he'll join Jim and Simon from 10 this morning. Slot uh, spoke to Talk Sport after the win and was asked if he'd enjoyed what he saw from his side. It depends on which half we are talking about. The first half, I didn't enjoy it so much. Second half, I enjoyed it much more. And it all had to do with our performance, although we have to give credit to Ipswich as well because I think um, first half, they were uh, really aggressive, made it really, really difficult for us. Uh, but second half was uh, pleasing to see from our perspective. Uh, let's get more on this with a legend of the club, three-time European Cup winner, seven-time league champion, Phil Thompson. Morning, Tom. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Morning, guys. Very good. Very happy this morning. Well, I was going to say to you, Tomo, that wasn't really a major surprise. I mean, if you're a neutral and thinking about watching that game, Ipswich versus Liverpool, it probably went according to plan. Wouldn't you think first, you know, cheesing back in the top flight for for Ipswich, they're going to come flying at the the traps and and, and Liverpool going to not a lot of the bottom, they're a shot at goal. But then second half, a little bit of quality and probably about a right result. Would that be fair? Ali, yeah, I, I don't know why Jeff's asked me on this morning because that's exactly what I've been going to say. This wasn't a, normally games like this. You'll go, well, well it, it's going to be twenty minutes. Stay in the game for twenty minutes because the balls, the atmosphere, and all that. There's no form in this game. Ipswich have come into it the start of the season. I was listening to Talk Sport and he was saying the atmosphere. This is an hour before the game, and so you knew exactly. And I said on LFC TV, this is going to be a 45-minute game because they are going to be at it. It's going to go for a while. The energy, the the um, August sunshine. And I said, it will drop. This could be a final third mm. match. And, and it was like that Ipswich, give them credit. They had a right go in the first half. But it didn't surprise me at all mm. what would happen. And you, as soon as you see in the second half, Liverpool quickened it up and I thought we were nothing short of sensational. It could have been five or six. Yeah, yeah I, I was just going to say to you, Tom, it could have been any score yeah. in the second half. Liverpool were absolutely breathtaking. I know Ipswich tired, but they were breathtaking. It's probably unfair to pick up one player, but I'm going to. And he didn't. He wasn't on the field for that much of the second half. But I thought Trent Alexander-Arnold's second half was just fantastic. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? And, you know, if, if some people have seen highlights and everything, they probably didn't get as much of it. You had to watch the whole game. Um, the second half, some of the stuff that Trent did was just unimaginable. <laughs> How a footballer can have this ability, short, long. He was drilling balls from one side of the pitch to the other. He was playing exquisite passes. And his path for Mo Salah was nothing short of sensational. Yeah. It was a, a truly wonderful. But there was a lot of more than Trent. Ryan Gravenberg was just wonderful. Zobersly. The All these players really came to the fore. And I, I don't know whether you had the interview or not, but it was funny. Dominic Zobersly was talking about the way they played the three in midfield. One was a six, one was an eight, one was a ten. Mm. Like, they come up with all these numbers, but I thought it was a really interesting concept of them playing in different lines. And that was quite sort of new to me and which I think caused Ipswich problems, particularly in the second half. Tom, I think it's quite significant, but I think we were, we were speaking last week. Um, we're obviously having, not concerns, but we're intrigued to see what would happen in the likes of Trent with Salah, Van Dyke, and boys like that. Stating the complete obvious, massive, massive players, but looking at the weekend form, they look as though they're right up for it. You know what? You are right. They were all concentrated the first half. Yes, we had to dig in. Um, but the second half, the 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 enjoyment and the fun they got out of the game together was something to behold. 
And looking at Mo Salah's face after the game, I think I've got visions of the end of last season and, and taking the strapping off his hand and throwing mm. it to the ground. He's taking that red strapping off and he was laughing. He was enjoying mm. it. He was talking to his teammates and he was smiling. At, yes, we won the game, but he'd enjoyed himself again. And I think that was a, a, a big thing. I'm not saying we didn't enjoy it under Jürgen. Yeah. We certainly did. But this is great moments, Jordan, again. Great things after the game, the togetherness. I'll tell you what, Tomo, you know, a lot of us didn't know much about Arnie Slot before he arrived in this country. Um, we found out plenty pretty quickly, including how ruthless he can be. Uh, took off Gerald Kwanzaa at halftime. He could have easily said the boys had a knock, something like that. But he didn't. He's come out and said, I took him off because he wasn't winning any duels. I mean, that is ruthless. Yeah. It, it is, and it's a, it's a young boy, which uh, on one hand, you c it can be dangerous, you know. How does a young boy take it? Now, Arnie looks and behaves like a very concerned guy. And I would think he would do that in the correct way. With a more senior player, you'll go, I've made that decision, it's done. But with a young player, I think it, you have to treat it a little bit differently. And I would have thought hoping that Arnie will have put an arm around uh, Gerald because he is going to be a sensational. He will be in the England setup from the end of this season. Put his arm around him and said, look, this is the reasons I'm doing it. Yeah. Don't think you won enough. Delap was causing you problems. But it was only four challenges in the air as well. And he lost two of them. He lost 50%. That's what he said. So it was a big call. And... You know, it shows that he, if he's going to have a ruthless streak, watch out to everybody else. I thought it was actually quite refreshing, to tell you the truth. Yeah, but, but I take Thomas' point that he is a young kid. Oh, and no. if it was a more seasoned pro, it would have been more acceptable. Yeah, but I also but, take to Thomas' point, I'll bet you any money he's put his arm around him and said, by the way, here's the reason you're coming off. Yeah. Tom, well, just quickly, Absolutely. Uh, um, <clears throat> newspaper reports link in Liverpool with Jared Branthwaite. What do you make of that? Jared Branthwaite. Well, I tell you, I was I was looking at Jared Branthwaite, and I think he's one hell of a player. I was worried that he was going to Manchester United. I thought, what a signing he'll be. He's one of the best centre backs, left footed, and I think he would be terrific. It's it's one is somebody having a little bit of mischief there, Jeff. Um, I, I don't know. It's all of the Liverpool echo. So look, no, but listen, listen. Shh. Again, it's it's maybe Joe Gomez didn't make the squad. So if Joe Gomez to move, that would open up a, a another position at centre back. Uh, yeah, it's it's it, look. Obviously, you, you've got Canate, you've got Van Dijk, you've got uh, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Priority, not sure, but we mm -hmm. shall see. Um, Tomo, thank you very much. Have a great, great start to the season. Cheers, guys. Have a great day. Uh, Jill, the United fan, she's often on. She's right this time. She says, OMG, can't deal with a how good are we, Phil Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, good on you, Joe. Yeah, well done. <laughs> on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.